right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll call this meeting to order. This is the uh, recess meeting of Tuesday, October 17th. We will stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and then Chaplain Giles, uh, Chaplain Giles Lindley will give us our uh, invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us pray. Most gracious God, we all want the best, and we always agree on what that is. Give us the patience, give us the love, give us the understanding to work together so we can accomplish great things. Be the people, be the community, be the city you want us to be. We thank you for this beautiful day, we thank you for this town where we live. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Amen. All right, thank you everyone. We appreciate your attendance. I assume we're Facebook Live, Matt? All right, wonderful. Um, we will now go through the adoption of the official agenda. Um, do we have any changes to the consent agenda? We'll start with that. Any changes to the consent agenda? Alderman um, Vaughn? I, I got one. Oh, I'm sorry. Alderman Little? Uh, item 10, I mean 11, E1, compliance document. Yes, sir. No one's got an objection. I got that. Okay, no objection. Is it, do I hear an objection to adding the claim stocket to the consent agenda? Okay, hearing none, claim stocket is added to the consent agenda. Do we have any other changes to the consent agenda? Ms. Brewer. Alderman Vaughn. Yes, There's not much left. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this is a matter of uh, request permission to allow Mar Marshall McCurdy to attend the National Fire. It's not but $167.86. That's a reimbursable amount, I believe. Uh -huh. The chief, uh, uh, Mark McCurdy, attending the fire academy, they pay us back, is that correct? Or they? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Consent agenda, any changes? Okay. If not, I'll uh, entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. Approve. Hold them a little. I have a motion. A second? Second. Second from Alderman Miller. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the regular agenda with the consent agenda included. Any changes to that? Mayor, I yes, think sir, it, it, thank you, Mayor. I think you want to add a, a new Roman numeral 16. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I was, you want to yes. address that, Mayor? I, I can do that. I will do you. that now. Um, there is an um, item, item 16. Advertising for deputy court clerk to be added added to uh, the agenda after the we come out of open session at the end of the agenda. And then 16 becomes 17. Yes. Thank you. That will adjust it slightly. Yes, any, any comments to that? Any concerns? Okay, we'll add that to the add that to the agenda. And now I need a motion for approval of the agenda with the consent agenda, please. So moved. Alderman Little. Uh, the second? Second. Uh, second from Alderman Sistrunk. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Uh, 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 opposed? Motion carries. All right. I'm going to remember right up front to read the consent agenda. So, uh, item four, consideration of the minutes of the September 15, 2017 meeting of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen of the City of Starkville as presented at the table. Consideration of the minutes of the September 29th, 2017 meeting of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen of the City of Starkville as presented at the table by Mr. Ladmer. Mayor's business item A, consideration of approving the appointment of Ralph Nobles to the Golden Triangle Solid Waste Authority Board for a term from January 1st, 2017 through December 31st, 2020. B, consideration of appointing Calvin Ware to the Golden Triangle Solid Waste Authority Board to complete the unexpired term of Emma Gandy and then for the term from January the 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2021. C, consideration of appointing Edward Kemp to the Golden Triangle Solid Waste Authority Board to fill a new startable position for the term from January the 1st, 2018 to December 31st, 2021. Item D, consideration of a resolution giving the consulting firm of Farmer Morgan the authorization to file a transportation investment generating economic recovery tiger grant for the city 
E, consideration of the adoption of an ordinance granting a non-exclusive franchise renewal to BCI, Mississippi Broadband, LLC, doing business as Max South Broadband, its successors and assigns to construct, operate, and maintain a cable system in Starkville, Mississippi, and setting forth conditions accompanying the grant of the franchise and providing for regulation and use of the cable system. F, consideration of a license agreement between the City of Starkville and BCI, Mississippi Broadband, LLC, DBA, Max South Broadband, a Mississippi limited liability company concerning the use of certain structures owned by the City of Starkville. 10, board business, item A, consideration and approval of establishing set hours for trick-or-treating of 5.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Tuesday, October the 31st, 2017. Under 11, department business, A, airport, 1, request approval to accept the MDOT matching grant for the AIP project number 3283-28-0068-022-2017 for installations of airfield guidance signs and perimeter and fencing. Remove obst obstructions on George M. Bryan Field in the amount of $13,514. Under two planning, A, consideration of a street and sidewalk closing in-kind services request by Living Life in Pink for the 2017 Breast Cancer Walk to be held on Sunday, October 29th, 2017 from 12.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. B, consideration of travel and training for Buddy Sanders to attend the last class of the required four core classes by the International Economic Development Council for certification with cost not to exceed $1,100. Under E, Finance and Administration, Item 1, Request approval of the City of Starkville Claims Docket for all departments, including Starkville Utilities Department, as of September 30, 2017, for fiscal year ending 9-30-17, and the City of Starkville Claims Docket as of October 9, 2017, for fiscal year ending 9-30-18. Acknowledging that the City Clerk has attested and certified on the cover of the Claims Docket that all claims on the docket are true, accurate, lawful, and proper, to the best of her knowledge, for payment pursuant to her duties under Mississippi Code Sections 21-39-5, 21-39-7, 21-39-17, and 21-15-21. Number two, request acceptance of preliminary September 2017 financial statement. Number three, request acceptance of the source of supply bids received for Starkville Utilities, Sanitation, and Street Departments. F, Fire Department, one, request permission to allow Fire Marshal Mark McCurdy to attend the National Fire Academy in Emmitsburg, Maryland for the fire, for fire investigation, electrical systems with a class being from 11-26-2017 to 12-1-2017 with advanced travel of $167.86. G, Human Resources, one, request authorization to advertise for an executive administrative assistant in the Startwell Utilities Department. I, Parks and Recreation, one, consideration of the approval of the program contract agreement for Starville Parks and Recreation Department. Two, consideration of the approval of the new facility rental form for Starville Parks and Recreation Department. Three, consideration of the approval of the new sponsorship policy for Starville Parks and Recreation Department. Four, consideration of the approval of the new sponsorship agreement for Starville Parks and Recreation Department. L, Utilities Department, one, request authorization for Starville Utilities to advertise and request for proposals for the water SCADA system upgrade and services. And that completes the consent agenda items. And then we will move to announcements and comments and mayor's comments. I have um, new employee introductions, which I will see if I can do better than I did last time. Um, we will start with um, Nikidra Bell who's a part-time worker, finance and administration department. Nikidra is from Starkville, Mississippi. She graduated from East Octibaha County High School and recently attended Northeast Community College where her focus of study was medical laboratory. Prior to coming to the city of Starkville, she was employed at McDonald's. Nikidra will be working part-time in the city clerk's office as well as the front reception desk. So we'll see her smiling face when we come in the front door. Nikidra enjoys riding horses and her four-wheeler. Welcome to Nikidra. <laughs> Next we have Michael Edwards, firefighter. The chief is up and ready. You... Oh, he's not here? Oh. Oh, you guys not here. I'm going... I see a firefighter coming toward me now. Um, Michael Edwards is from Starkville, Mississippi and is a graduate of Starkville High School. He attended East Mississippi Community College. Michael is a former firefighter with the Starkville Fire Department. Prior to returning to SFD, he was a utility operator at Steel Dynamics. Michael and his wife, Anna, are the proud parents of two daughters, Q 
Kennedy and Molly. During his free time, Michael enjoys exercising, hunting, camping, and spending time with his family. Welcome back, Michael. All right, and Mr. Gregory is not here. Uh, Emmanuel Moore, building inspector. Emmanuel Moore is from West Point, Mississippi. He has been a licensed contractor for the past 17 years and spent the majority of his career constructing residential homes. He previously served on the City of West Point Planning and Development Commission. He has also served as a master carpenter, chief project manager, and senior contractor on various projects around the Golden Triangle area. He and his wife, Teresa, have been married for 25 years and they have two children. Together, Emmanuel and his wife own Moore Rental Property, LLC, and Moore Builders, Incorporated. Welcome, Michael. I'm sorry, welcome, Emmanuel. I know Buddy's glad, you, glad you're on board. <laughs> All right, one other announcement from me, and I, and I was hunting for Herman's email to me because I wanted to get it right, but I'm not going to remember it, so Herman, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I want to make uh, I want to make the announcement about um, citywide tailgate is from 11 to 1 on Friday. The uh, department city departments are participating, and we're going to be out front of city hall. The chief is going to cook. We're going to have all kinds of goodies out there, so we're in competition with the rest of the folks down Main Street. So please come out and join us. Um, we also have on the 28th. We have um, a trick-or-treating opportunity in at J.L. King Park or Westside Park, and that goes from, all right, Herman, 5.30 to 8, is that correct? 5.30 to 8. 5.30 to 8. And uh, we'll have the kids' food, uh, all games and that sort of thing for the kids, trick-or-treat, candy, and that sort of thing. You want to add to that, Herman, please? Okay, they need judges for the costume contest as well. Got it. Thank you, sir. I'll see if I can do the other one. On the 30th, <laughs> we have a second trunk or treating like we did last year, and this is at the Sportsplex. And we have uh, city vehicles that have um, candy and that sort of thing in them, and kids come out in costumes. We had a huge turnout last year. It was amazing. Um, and I think they ate all the candy in town and cleaned us out. But uh, I'm sure it will be equally as big, and hopefully the weather will be good. So bring, bring the kids and come on out and, and enjoy the the festivity and the, and the spirit of the evening, which is Monday, and that doesn't interfere with our Tuesday 31st, 5.30 to 8, trick-or-treating hours. So we're going to have candy overload all over town. So, um, And I have no further comments. I know, Vice Mayor Perkins, you had asked for the floor. Thank you, Mayor. Just three uh, matters beat by five minutes or less. Very briefly, Mr. Sanders, could you come very quickly? Uh, Mayor, uh, colleagues, and others while Mr. Sanders is coming forth, I want to thank Mr. Sanders for all your hard work and Mr. Sanders, I want to thank you for all your co-compliance work and I want to specifically uh, bring a matter to your attention this afternoon and I've talked with the mayor about it and the gentleman from Ford and being the vice mayor and a long term member of this board, I, I hear from people throughout the city and the gentleman from Ford um, is from the area that I'm about to allude to and he's very knowledgeable about, about to share with you. I would like for you to um, check the, uh, the building or structure that sits on the, the west side of um, Spring Street and Glispie Street. It appears to be in a very dilapidated state. If you would just check back with it, I'm only making a very respectful request, no directive. If you would check uh, with that uh, location to see if that structure is in compliance with our code. If not, would you uh, please, sir, inform the mayor and the board um, at our next meeting on November 7, 2017, and inform us what action, um, if any, that you recommend to bring that property in compliance and any other property that you see throughout the city. But that is a very dilapidated structure. If you just take a look at the structure that sits on the western side of the intersection at Spring and Glispie, would you do that and, and let the mayor know and bring us your recommendation in writing and have an action item for the November 7, 2017 agenda? If it pleases you, and you let the gentleman from forward and the rest of the board know that, Mr. Sanders? I would be glad to do so. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the second matter, thank you, Mr. Sanders. Ms. Uh, Nita Lindsay, will you come forward, please? <clears throat> Mr. 
Mr. Nita, let me just say, um, I've got about two minutes, I've got one other matter, I'm going to be very brief. I um, just want to thank you for uh, your leadership uh, in, in bringing the event over the years. Just a very constructive um, housekeeping measure. Um, I saw on the cover sheet that the board adopted back on September 5 of 2017 that, you know, that you are the, you did a, a special event application where you are the event organizers for the mothers, um, mad mothers against domestic disputes. And the event lists the city as the, um, the event name, the, the Starkville uh, community today. Um, couple questions real quickly. Um, am I correct that the city of Starkville has no duty or responsibility to pay any person that uh, was retained or employed or hired by you with respect to that? Am I, is that a correct statement? That's correct. And uh, am I also correct that, uh, that you and or that organization is solely exclusively responsible for paying any person that you employed, hired, and or retained for that day? Correct. Correct. Okay. And finally, Miss, and thank you for what you're doing. I appreciate that. And and and, and one thing for finally, I, I think it'd also be good too if you know, maybe if the board approves this next year, you come up to us in June, July, and August, September, mention to the board so we get some coverage so that people can be aware. And one final thing, I'm very very respectful of requesting, but it, it's just me personally speaking this, but it's going to be up to the board. I think it'd be a very good idea, and this is all positive. We want to come in, you okay? I think it'd be very positive maybe if you can try to find a name of the historical community today that will give your organization more mileage. You know, like you right now, your organization is Mad Mothers Against Domestic Disputes, as opposed to being, you know, Starkville community today. Like, you know, when Bulldog Bash, we don't have a Starkville Bulldog Bash or, or the Starkville Arts Council, it's the Cotton District Arts Council. So if you'd be thinking about that, I'd like to hear what, you know, I like, want to promote your organization as much as we can. So I think it would be a good idea if, you know, if we can, you know, certainly Starkville is, the, is up to the board. You know, we've been consistently giving in canon services. And this is just a very positive comment. I'm not speaking against it. But I think, you know, if we can get that. we got a whole another year to work on it. So that's good. And, and, um, and I saw this sheet there it, you know, about when actually the budget and attendance. And we'd like to get more information about it. And, uh, and, and I'd like to see the mayor get on stage real at, at, at the opening session and give greetings before, before 1 or 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And whoever else you want to get on the stage. But, but thank you for that. You will consider those things. And, and I just want to make sure that, you know, that all we had to do on that arrangement was just give in kind services, you know. And, and I know you appreciate all the things that the city did. And uh, while you're down here, Mayor, could she just say whatever you got about, you know, a little Sorry, briefly you want to tell the board? Could I just give me a minute? Things, so I had to drop things. That's okay. Take your time. I am so sorry. I, I don't want to forget anybody, so I had to write it down. You know, when you take had chemo, it affect your brain system. So I'm trying my best to remember everybody. So I had to write it down. You know, I'll keep it going. So. Anyway, if I can't find it, but I, you all, I, I really do appreciate you. I can't find it. I can't okay. appreciate, you all, appreciate you all enough for coming out supporting and supporting Starkville Day. And it really means so much to me just to see your faces out there because uh, Starkville really do mean a lot to me. And I really do try to put on for my city and along with a committee. And the purpose of Starkville Day is to bring the community out to, to uh, as one with no violence. And that is my purpose. And we have something for you all for just coming out, just using some of your time on a Saturday 
and I know you be tired on a Saturday like I do. And uh, just come out and show your, you came out and show your support. So we have something for you. Well, that was, it was very enjoyable. We, nice to meet everybody who came at you. You had a good turnout. It was a nice yeah. day. So. Yeah. The day was a great success. In spite of the rain, uh, we had some little yeah, Just a little bit of things. rain. It wasn't a lot of rain. But, yeah, we had to push the, uh, we had to go ahead and bring the headliner on out early. So we had to stop. Some of the local entertainment didn't get a chance to perform along with I had a band that uh, canceled out on me earlier that day. But uh, they had some type of confrontation. So one of the members came out still and brought his band in, which I told him I just squashed it and leave it alone. But they, he still came out and, and through it all, it still became a success. So uh, I'm looking forward to next year. We're starting early and, and uh, uh, all the perfect, I'm going to have it for you. Very good, very good. Miss Brewer, that's a Star for Day t shirt. For I you. see that here. Let me go right. up. So we can get that, that view on Facebook here. All right, so, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Right. One well, moment. Chief, yo, Chief. Your men are doing an awesome job, like always. Your men are doing an awesome job. Uh, Chief Yarbrough. Uh, your men, as they started a uh, 5K walk off, and then they ended up playing games with the kids. I know they moved them out, but it was a great success for them as entertaining the kids with jobs. And Mr. Herman, I can't believe you did such a wonderful job with the tuition paper time and making sure I had everything. And emails, I, I got back to you later, and I did get this with you. Uh, Mr. Ware, your team, y'all did such an awesome job. When I look around, we didn't see any paper. We had paper everywhere, and he made sure his men was out there. They did their job. They really did. And uh, I'm a, uh, Vaughn, I really appreciate you and everything, and I'm a person uh, for y'all. Y'all, this your area. And, and I just want to continue doing more, providing more, and add more to the committee, and doing more things. We'll start with that, which I'm going to name another, uh, I'm going to give it another name. And I, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Mayor, the final thing, I'm very brief. I want to recognize two young ladies in the um, um, audience this evening, and they are here to learn more about government. Uh, the first one, I start with the oldest, um, Xavier Perkins Tillman. Um, She's my niece, Stan Xavier, teaches at Starwood High, a junk professor at East Mississippi Community College, and Charlene is my niece. Um, uh, teach at Armstrong. So glad to have both of y'all here. Thank you. You can watch the master at work down there. He's been <laughs> at it for a long time. All Thank right. you, Mayor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Anyone else? Any other comments from any other board? Alderman Carp? Uh This would be in regards to the new Starville Police Department, and I know that uh, a weight has, you know, a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. But this is just a a time to thank uh, Mayor Spruill, former Mayor Wiseman, and the police chief, and I know it took a lot of planning, more than people probably know, to, to put that day forth, and y'all did a really good job, and the color guard did a really good job, uh, so for that, y'all should be commended, so thank you. It was a nice day. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else? All right. We will move to the only item on the agenda. Oh, I'm sorry. Hello. Citizen comments. Mr. Turner, I was about to forget you. <laughs> Three minutes. Uh, anyone in the audience who would like to speak to the board, you have three minutes uh, about any subject that you like. And Mr. Turner? I'm green. My name is Adam Turner Ward 7. I want to recognize the mayor, the vice mayor, Thank Alderman Vaughn. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman um, Citron, Alderman Walker. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Um, and the uh, NSC president. Chris Davis. Uh, next month, our, uh, we'll fall back one hour. And uh, uh, in most likely the dangerous time of the year, we'll, we have three holidays back to back. But our, uh, our, uh, if Chief Nichols don't mind and Chief Yarbrough don't mind me, we would appreciate if Y'all could kind of tell us, Chief, or, uh, if we we'll were walking, what colors to wear so that we can be seen and for the fire chief to kind of let us know where we catch fire quick uh, during uh, fall time of year. Thank you much. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Anyone else like to make any comments? Good evening, Mayor, board members. My name is Chris Taylor. 
And uh, I just want to remind the public, since you said it's Facebook Live and everything, that the next board meeting not to November the seventh, right? Mm -hmm. But election also is November the seventh. Yes, it is. So people need to get out and vote. There's a lots of things that are important to the community, and if you don't vote, you ain't got a voice. Don't say nothing, no matter what. Who's in office? Uh, what happened to the hospital? Not tonight. There's a briefing again at the sportsplex at seven o'clock. Is that true, Mr. Herman? That's what they put out. Briefing on what? On the hospital. Oh, okay. But that's what they said now. That's tonight at 7. So just get out and vote. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay. Thank you. All right. The only item remaining on our agenda is the uh, under board business, item 10B, consideration of calling for a public hearing to amend the smoking ordinance. Alderman Carver, I'll let you. Sure. Um, this is a housekeeping matter to follow up for our last two discussions. Um, this was something that we would basically allow if you're a standalone uh, establishment. This is something that would allow you to still know the, for the fact that you're going in there to test the product. Um, since our last meeting, I've had several constituents call and several, we have a lot of people from around the state that actually are watching us live. I didn't know that. and. Uh, became even more educated on the matter, but this is something that um, I think that would really send a, send a wave out that we are pro-business and we're open for business, so thank you. Okay, and this evening it is, it is simply calling for a public hearing. If the board uh, does do that, then we will have our first public hearing on it at the next board meeting, which was November the 7th. Um, so that's what the vote is tonight, is to call for a public hearing. So. Okay, do we have any further discussion? Questions or, or talk? Okay, I need a motion. Say move. Okay, I have a motion from Alderman Carver. Do I, I need a second. Second. Second from, I'm sorry, Alderman Little. Okay, any further discussion? Any discussion? Okay, motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Nay. 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 Okay, let me, did you get that, Lisa? Or do we need to? So we have a four to by four to three. We will be having the public hearing at the next at the next board meeting. So, all right. I was going to ask you a question. Sure. Yes, on the It's about a previous comment that Mr. Taylor said, but I'd like to ask: Is there anything we can do to accommodate such a large voting day coming up? And we can we change time to the meeting or our, our meeting? It's yes, the first uh, meeting. It, no, it's the statutory. first. Yeah, it's the first meeting in. in the, Just any way we could accommodate, that's going to be a big voter turnout, especially after work. Uh, there will be. Okay. Just thinking. Thank you. Sure. We can try to keep the agenda as light as possible. Right? Yeah. Yes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll see about going there. All right. That concludes uh, all items in our uh, open session. I need a motion to go into a uh, closed determination session. I move, Mayor. Uh, Alderman Miller has a motion. Alderman Vaughn? Um, I'm in on what Alderman uh, Wallace uh, Fishroom said. Let's try, do everything we can to try to keep the agenda very minimal that we can do on that day, November 7th. Yes, sir. I'll keep that in, I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Mayor, uh, one thing may I be recognized? Yes, you may. I would like to for sure to get that report from Mr. Sanders. I definitely want to take that up on November the 7th. It, it we need to, and, and whatever else he brings, he may have some other locations we need to take a look at. Yes, sir. So I just want to make sure I'm consistent across the city on whatever we need to do. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to fully support whatever he brings. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. I lost my place. I have a motion to go into closed session. Do you have a second? Second from Alderman Miller, was it? Um, I have a motion from. I made the motion. You made the motion. Okay. Did I get a second from someone? Second. Second moment a little. Thank you very much. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. If everyone would clear the room, please, we're going to go in.